Little rooster out on the front porch crowing. Here comes the storm like a big rig rolling. Here comes the storm like a big rig flying. Heavy loaded down fit to split the sky in. And oh, my little heart's in trouble. Feels like it just might explode. Why they call it love when ooh, it feels like lightning. And I'm out in the open and the wind starts blowing. I don't know any which way I'm going. I don't know any which way I'm bound. I used to be laughing, but I ain't laughing now. And oh, my little heart's in trouble. Feels like it just might explode. Why they call it love when ooh, it feels like lightning. With cherry blossoms sweet with smoke and Venus blazing above the yoke, I thought I knew all that there was to know. With the bluebirds whistling high above and God in his heaven wherever that was and the sun was on the face of the buffalo. Out across the fields all the thunderheads gathering. Clouds all turned to the color of a cavern. Dust devil spinning on a hollow sound. They used to be laughing but they ain't laughing now. And oh, my little heart's in trouble. Feels like it just might explode. Why they call it love when Feels like lightning. This ain't any kind of storm for chasing. They're gonna catch up to you now, slow all racing. It's gonna catch up to you now, by and by. It's gonna make you feel good, gonna make you cry. And oh, my little heart's in trouble. Feels like it just might explode. Why they call it love when, oh, it feels like, oh, my little heart's in trouble. Feels like it just might explode. Why they call it love when, Feels like lightning. Feels like lightning. Awesome. 91.7 KXT Law Bell here in the studio with uh, Josh Ritter. Now, I've got a lot of questions for you because I've, I've done my research, hopefully thoroughly enough, huh. right? You attended the School of Scottish Studies after you graduated Oberlin College. How significant are Scotland and Ireland to the framework of your music career? Well, I guess you know I was I was in college when I went over there, and I was I was I I, I most I never really I hadn't like opened myself up to the dream of of actually playing a lot of music, you know, as my life. Mm. But uh, but I, I I loved I loved the music and I loved the weird stories and I loved the kind of weird and and strange romance of so much of that music as I did uh, with almost every music that I was discovering you know when I was like 16 and 17 and 18 like you know when your musical world is just exploding and everything seems so brand new and magic and uh you know Scotland and Ireland were definitely in there but but there was just the 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 world of music had really come crashing down on me, and it was all just incredible. You know? What made you choose Scot Scotland to go to school? Well, I, I it was a chance to go, and I I had heard that there was this school of Scottish studies there, where there was this enormous archive of of uh, of collected music, like over thirty thousand or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Crazy. So it, and, and so I was there, and and. Really, you know, I, I wasn't doing a whole lot of work. I was, <laughs> I was, uh, I was playing in in pubs and and going out and listening to music, and I was listening to a lot of music, and uh, and it was a chance to 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 do that and to start to play uh, music in front of people. It was kind of a, a a a random and neutral spot where I felt like I could do that without anybody knowing me, mm. you know calling my family. Right. 
You got another song you want to share with us today? Sure, yeah. This one. This one's called Henrietta, Indiana. Henrietta, Indiana, milk town. Locked the factory down and shut it up tight. My daddy and my brother and 1,600 others lost everything they had in the night. Daddy got a taste for the hard stuff. Henrietta, Indiana was dry. And we'd ride out to Putney, he'd tell me he loved me. The drive home was always so quiet, he had a devil in his eye. Eye, like a thorn in the paw. Disregard for the law, disappointment to the Lord on high. My brother practiced preaching in the basement. Perspiration on his face till I knew. Something was missing, his spirit was willing He could not believe it was true Blessed be the poor, he said Your treasure is on high But all of Henrietta, Indiana Heard me hallelujah when I finally saw the devil in his eyes Saw the devil in his eyes Eyes Like a thorn in the paw Disregard for the law, disappointment to the Lord on high And I was coming home late from a midnight to eight, the radio said they'd ID the plates, left three men dead, made their escape by now, said the sheriff they'll be in the next state, will we be able to catch them, can they bring the dogs in, can they call up the bureau, do they have next to kin, cameras came to our door, I opened it wide, they thought I was crying, it was something in my eye, 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 Tonight I'll leave a bottle on the table The Bible open to the Sermon on the Mount Blessed be the poor of Henrietta, Indiana But happy are the ones that get out I think I'll ride over to Putney The store will be open till 12 The empty parking lot, the lights alone, the kid, the register I see it all clear as a bell I got a devil in my eye Like a thorn in the paw, disregard for the law, disappointment to the Lord on high. Ah, 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 ah. Like a thorn in the paw, disregard for the law, disappointment to the Lord on high. Ninety-one seven KXT. You look like you have so much joy when you sing that one. Is there yeah. something special about that song? That, I, I think any song that I sing that I write has to be. It has to make me happy to sing it. Mm -hmm. You know, and if it, you know, if I, and it always has to make me happy. If it doesn't make me happy, then I uh, just don't put myself through it. You know what I mean? But it's a, a, a song that feels like it's well written. Feels like a full movie, and you know, and that's fun to fun to watch. That's legit. I can yeah. take that. Yeah. Now, you and Sam Kasserer have been working together since your 03 album, Hello, Starling. Yeah. Like, y'all been, that's a long rapport that you've created with the two of each other. Like, how did that help with the Spectral Lines album? Well, I think that, you know, shared experience, especially, there there are people that can talk about music in, in, in fundamental ways that that are, are based on theory and method and all those things. And I really respect that, but that's just never been the way I've been able to, to describe it. And I feel like the, the, the thing that comes out of long experience with somebody else is, is the, yeah, the shared experience, the shared vocabulary, you know, so that I can say, I'm, I want something that feels like a river. I, mm -hmm. want, I want this piano to sound like a big river. And he, he just knows what that means. And, and, you know, over he gets long a feeling of something. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
On the night that you were born Your mama who had many friends Took you down across the reach To meet the tide come in There were no lilies from my footsteps There were no temple curtains torn Still I felt you move inside me A strong swimmer to be born Da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da All the wind was in my hair And your cheeks were flecked with salt Your eyes were two boats for the moon I said, a strong swimmer you'll be called Now I cannot believe to see the leagues that you have swum Cannot believe you once were me and you and I were one Time only travels one way, I'm afraid still I'm a fool Cause in my mind I try to wind the twine back on the spool now I'm standing on the cliffs in the cold sea far below And the birds that float the midway air Like driven flakes of snow I cannot go where you are going I can no longer fight those waves Still I'll watch you till you're out of sight A strong swimmer all the way Da 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 On the night that you were born Your mama who had many friends Took you down across the reach to meet the tide Come in. Ninety-one seven KXT. Uh, I'm Law Bell. Joined in the studio with uh, uh, Josh Ritter. That was your song, "Strong Swimmer," from the album "Spectral Lines" that you dropped this year. Yeah, I, I know a little bit about what that song means, but if you want to tell the audience what that song means to you, sure. Yeah, I was. I I, I had this. Uh, uh, I, I wanted to write a song about what it's like to watch the ones you raise go out into the world, and you know, you know, sometimes, sometimes you feel like you're launching them into some vastness, and you're part of the launch crew, mm-hmm. and uh, and you hope that everything goes right, and you hope you prepared them for everything that they're gonna come up, up against. Right, and I have one last question before we have to let you go. Yeah. You mentioned the purpose of this album was to share your feelings. So what has been the most rewarding mm. thing for you sharing this album with the world? Well, I, I think I, like a lot of people coming out of the pandemic, I realized that there was a lot of stuff that that I could uh, choose not to say or but uh, realizing that time is sometimes much shorter than we imagine mm-hmm. uh, that uh, I, I really felt like. You know, there's there there are times to to a, to make a record that has vulnerability in its uh, in its emotions that it wants to share, and and like that's not that's that's just partially a cathartic thing of me getting it out, but it's also a belief that if you have the ability to share your your innermost emotions in such a way, then it's good to be able to share them because other people have those same feelings every day and those same struggles so yeah yeah (laughs) 
I got off the highway north of Desert Canyon Station. I was driving with my headlights off, just stars for navigation. My telescope, my notes, and my ham sandwiches and coffee. Sometimes you must be all alone. There ain't no way to not be. I was thinking about Tanya, how things had rearranged and everything had gone full circle. We were back to being strangers. She was with a man named Neil now. That's all I knew about him. But I was happy, she was happy, real happy that she'd found him. It was just after 11 when I pulled off at the lookout. The parking lot was empty, though the air still smelled like cookouts. And yes, I admit I toked one. That doesn't change what happened anyway. You're not my parents. And it really helps my mapping of the System 611. A Magellanic cluster I've been watching for a while. I got my telescope adjusted. And I turned it on an unassuming patch of dusty sky. There was really 50 million stars a billion light years wide. Then all at once it felt as if time had been suspended And a vision poured into me like a bottled band upended I was filled with revelation, both infinite and finite That filtered down the telescope and coded in the starlight It said truth is not immutable, itself is a dimension Truth can be both weighted down and warped in strange directions Truth has a shape that alters each according to observer Sometimes you must be close to it, sometimes you must be further. Truth can bend and truth can break, depends on how you ask it. It frays or it may blaze out at some Paul bound for Damascus and sometimes gets mistook for God, sometimes for its servant. It both exists and doesn't, like a star that's not observed yet. Which all at once returned my thoughts to System 611. Still twinkling down the telescope into my mind from heaven And I stood there looking upward as the darkness turned to dawn And received that strange transmission till finally it was gone And I knew beyond a shadow, my discovery was real. But the person that I longed to tell was sound asleep with Neil in some parallel dimension. Maybe Tanya was still mine. In this one, she loved someone else that left me to search the sky. So I went ahead and wrote this to alert you to my findings. I call it truth is a dimension, both invisible and blinding. You can give me the awards now. You can knight me or whatever. I got nothing going on now. Me and Tanya are together. Oh, go ahead and laugh at me and all of my conclusions, symposiums and seminars and think tank institutions. You may even talk to Tanya. Let me ask you if you do. Please tell her I still love her. That will always be the truth. Thank you guys.